I'm moving from this place to this place. And to be honest, this was a little unexpected. I really liked that other spot. But over the last year, I realized that it's a little bit too small. And since the rent is going back up to the pre-pandemic level, because my landlord thinks that that's what it's worth, we are moving out, heading down the street to something that costs half as much as this space and is over two times the size. My rent at that other office was going up to 4,500 and this is around half of that, which is great. I can have a bigger office, I can have less expenses, and I'm in the same neighborhood that I was in before, just one subway stop south. But did I make the right decision? Let me show you both spots so you can judge them and decide for yourself. That's where I've been sitting. I am going to miss this view because this view is the best feature of this space and the other space does not have a view. I don't even know how we're gonna move these key racks. I think we're gonna have to put them in an Uber and have someone just drive them down to the new office. That way they don't tip over and we lose all the keys. If something happens to my Metropolis poster or my lights, I am gonna be furious. So I think I'm gonna bring those myself. But I mean, all the other furniture we have in here really isn't so valuable that I'm worried about it. Especially this plastic shelf from Kmart. This is like the ugliest storage solution, but it's been totally workable. That was actually in the bathroom. It does have a partial kitchen and I guess you could have lived here if you wanted to. I'm gonna bring my Darth Vader coffee mug. This is important to me because it catches the drip. After, after I make coffee in my plastic cup, which is probably gonna shorten my lifespan, I take it off and let it drip into this thing. Bustello, it's cheap, it works. It's better than Dunkin' Donuts, that's for sure. I also can't wait to finally hang up my Rocketeer poster. We never even hung these up because the pandemic started right when we moved in and we were just like, what's the point of setting things up in here when it might all have to come down, who knows? Bathroom here, it has a shower too, which is interesting, but I feel like since there's no shower rod and you'd have to put something here that the landlord didn't even really finish this space. Nice though, no medicine cabinet. That's a big bummer. That's actually the real reason why I'm moving. But I have a sink sprayer. Look at that right there. Never used it, but I have it. At the end of the day, definitely I will miss how photogenic this place looked and definitely all this sunlight and that cool view, that was really something to experience. But you know, like this tape gun for packing boxes, you don't overpay for something that is a tool for getting your job done, especially when there are better tools out there for less. Let me show you this one now. So we just moved in here, which was great. The pictures made it, the key racks, we did put them in an Uber, that was a great decision decision and all of my stuff has survived. Now this is about twice the space that I had in the other spot. There's where the front door is and then everything else is here. And it's kind of like just a big box. There's no kitchen here, so I have to figure out how I'm gonna make my coffee. I tried drinking the water that the building has, but it's cloudy. And since I don't wanna die, we might have to get like a water cooler. And I'm actually okay with that. We had the kitchen in the other spot, but it was never cleaned properly which is probably my fault. But now I don't have to clean a kitchen or a bathroom because the bathroom is out in the hall. I guess that means I don't have a medicine cabinet or a sink sprayer, but I will live. I get to see those in all the apartments that we tour together. The great thing about this is it's so big, I can offer more jobs to more people and that's gonna help my business. I'm probably gonna get an extra couple of these tables and fill out the rest of this. This comes with a dangerous ladder. I have no idea what this thing does and I'm not ready to climb this yet and lose my security deposit. This stuff is not gonna be fun to unpack, but I think that's something that my manager can handle. Right over here, this is where my office manager sits. And from over here, he can see everything in the office, except for me, I'm right over there. He can't look through these windows and see what I'm up to. Oh, speaking of which, our view here absolutely sucks. Would you believe it if I told you that it was daytime right now? You can look all the way through the building and see some sunlight over there, but that's about it. So the rent for this place is probably way cheaper than it should be. And what that most likely means is that in a year, this too will go up. I wonder what it will go up to, but you know, you have to make the right decision every single year for your business. And 
just because I could have afforded to pay for the other spot doesn't mean it was the right decision, especially when this is way more functional and doesn't have any sacrifices that would affect how we use the space. We didn't really use the kitchen, having the bathroom, no big deal. Huge shout out to JD over at Newmark for helping coordinate us moving here at the last minute. That was huge. I'll leave JD's contact information below if you happen to need an office. At least it comes with an air conditioner, that's good. Climbing up there to install that would be dangerous. And I was told that this used to be an entrance to the building next door, but it was blocked off. If I want to expand, I wonder if they can reopen it. Probably not. So what do you guys think? Do you like the new spot? Did you like the old spot better? Let me know and then pick an apartment tour and I'll see you in the next video.